Welcome back everyone, this is Tyler. In today's video, I'll be going over the new 2019 LEGO Star Wars Visual Dictionary, the new edition. Um, has the exclusive Finn in the Back to Tank suit uh, minifigure, which I won't be taking out. Um, there's going to be other reviews, you know, people showing it off, you know, pictures on Instagram, but um, I'm going to keep it in the book for this, but I do want to kind of go through this book. There hasn't been too many videos that go through every single page yet, so I kind of want to give you my an overview and kind of my thoughts. So let's go ahead, guys. Um, there's the first page right there yeah i never knew my tripod could angle down like this i don't think it ever has before i don't know if i broke something on it but i mean hey it works for this though um the contents right here starting off we have the introduction kind of just going over a couple um kind of unique um prints it looks like right there then we do have the 20 years of uh, lego star wars page um, kind of just goes over a couple basic things. Um, some, um, some cool facts. Uh, Yoda became the first minifigure to have short legs in 2002. Uh, UCS Star Destroyer. Um, let's see. TIE Fighter Collection. Um, first set to feature a Legends vehicle. Um, yeah, this is actually pretty cool, guys. First Sarlacc monster build. Um, ten sets are released with the new Clone Wars in 2008. Um, over there. So yeah, you guys can, of course, pause and look at every last thing on this if you guys aren't planning on getting the book. But I'll go over a couple things that kind of just uh, you know, look cool to me. Um, two sets that tie into the Old Republic in 2012. Uh, first Lego Advent or first Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar. Um, Cloud City right here. Castle Run. Millennium Falcon. Microfighters uh, releases in 2014. Uh, the Fall of the Republic page. This is actually a very cool little shot right here. Do have Anakin Skywalker, some stuff about him, um, Padawan, um, Clone Wars with Padme and everything, kind of just going over his life, it looks like. Uh, pod racing page, pretty cool, showing all the different, different pod racers um, throughout the years. Uh, Sabalbas, Anakins, um, Bunta, Eves, uh, other pod racers down here in the corner. Moving on, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, kind of a couple pages about him. Hyperdrive ring, Boga, Interceptors. Uh, the Jedi Order, going over every other Jedi that they've ever made. You have some stuff like uh, Aegon Kolar, Stasa Lee, Kit Fisto, Luminara, Jedi Bob even, uh, Yoda, Barris, Ahsoka, Shock T, and all them at the bottom, Coleman Trabor. Uh, the Jedi Fleet, going over all the different little starfighters, some Astromechs, T6 Shuttle, um, Yoda's Jedi Starfighter, which is a pretty cool set they made. Uh, Republic Cruiser down here, um, and then a couple more uh, starfighters down there. Then we do have Chancellor Palpatine. He came in the uh, Venator class shuttle. The uh, Separatist shuttle um, commands the Trey Federation. Palpatine shuttle. Very cool set. Uh, I hope, hopefully we can get a remake of that soon. Even though I have the old one, a remake would be pretty cool. Uh, Count Dooku over here, or Count Dooku with the uh, Solar Sailor uh, right there. So that's pretty cool as well. Now let's see if I can actually move this a little bit that way. There, that kind of got out of the light a little bit. The bottom right corner has a little bit of a glare to it. Then we do have Sith followers uh, right here. So Darth Maul looks like, Saz Ventress, Savage Opress. Pretty cool sets over that. Republic Army, cool page here, showing all the different Republic vehicles. Um, and, and pretty much all these uh, text bubbles or you know text uh, spots are just all information about the set. Um, kind of their own take on it, I guess, you know, what Lego has to say about it. Uh, Republic Navy, pretty cool page right here. Probably Republic Frigate's the, the highlight of this page. Republic Gunship, pretty cool how it has its own page. Troop Hanger, kind of going over all the different aspects of the 2013 uh, gunship. Uh, Cologne Troopers right here. Uh, let's actually flip the book. I did realize there are a few pages that kind of flip like that. Um, so right here we have all the different Clone Troopers uh, that have been made. Phase 1, Phase 2, uh, Clone Wars and everything. So nice page about Clone Troopers. Glad they did that. Moving on, we have the Separatist Army. A couple of very cool things about the Separatist Army, MTTs, all the different little mini vehicles, the battlefield droids right here, Separatist Navy, Hyena droid bombers, Vulture droids, gunships, uh, Tri-Fighters, the, pretty much the basic Separatist Army, or Separatist Navy, uh, General Grievous, showing all the sets he's come in, uh, Grievous' Speeder, probably the biggest letdown, uh, Magnagar Starfighter, very cool set, uh, the Gene Oceans, probably a really cool page to most people, a lot of people like the Gene Oceans right here so we got like poggle genosha's uh, battle droids up there then we have the uh, naboo and gungans um on this side and then umbarans the mandalorians cool how they're really hitting every last aspect i like it how they're hitting every last you know kind of different species too uh, bounty hunters probably a very cool page to uh, some people as well 
Cad Bane and such over there. Anakin Skywalker, the Fallen Jedi, kind of showing the Mustafar in episode three sets. Palpatine's Arrest, uh, Transformation, uh, the duel on Mustafar. Moving into the Wookiees right here, we do have the Wookiee Catamaran, the gunship, some Kashyyyk troopers down here. Uh, that's a very cool setup there. Moving on to Chapter 2, the Galactic Civil War. So this is going to show everything about Rogue One up to Episode 6, I believe. Starting off, we do have the Han Solo sets right here from the new movie. Han Solo uh, Landspeeder, um, Castle Run Mill uh, Millennium Falcon right here. Uh, Millennium Falcon itself, this is the UCS one, the new one. A lot of facts about it. You guys probably already know most of, most of the stuff about it, though. Uh, Luke Skywalker, here's the page about him. The Land Speeders, uh, Sky Hoppers, X Wings. Do have Tatooine right here, Sandcrawler, uh, Tuscan Radar uh, Attack, the, uh, the Battle Pack, Cantinas, um, Imperial Leaders, a very cool page as well. Got Palpatine's Throne Room, all the different little uh, leaders up here uh, Thrawn, Inquisitor, Ularn. Um, even though it wasn't that a uh, Clone Wars you learn, I think it is, so, or no, no, that's, uh, uh, Empire, my bad, um, and then Darth Vader's castle, we're not gonna flip it around for this one, she's pretty much just showing the castle, do have the Death Stars here, uh, is this both the different Death Stars, or is it just one of them, um, this is just the one from 2016, it looks like, just two different angles of it, two different pictures, um, there we go, Imperial Stormtroopers, I'm not gonna flip it around either, but you guys can kind of see snow troopers kind of going over all the different uh, types of stormtroopers, um, some of the sets that they have. Imperial Army, ATATs, hover tanks, battle packs, ATDPs, uh, the Walker pilots, and everything. Do have the Imperial Navy, or not the Imperial Navy, the TIE variants. Um, TIE Interceptor, Prototype, TIE Fighter, Defender, uh, TIE Striker, TIE Bomber. We need a new one. Come on, Lego. Here's the Imperial Transports. Uh, Krennic Shuttle, the regular shuttle, um, AT Hauler, Landing Craft. Now we're getting into the Star Destroyers. Um, this is from uh, 2014, I believe. Uh, no, this is 2006 one right here. 2006 one they're showing. Um, that's the 2014 one up there. Early Rebel Craft, so this is pretty much from the Rebels uh, TV show. Got the crew down here. Uh, the Ghost, the ATTE. Uh, Cloud Swoop uh, Bikes. Not sure what, why that's on this page. We have the Rebel Alliance. So we got the Tantive. That's the 2009 one. Uh, the Y-Wing, the recent one. Uh, home one, uh, Calamari. Right there, we got the Rogue Heroes. So pretty much some Rogue One sets. U-Wing, Battle of Scarif. We got the crew up there. Kind of mixed around. K2S though. We do have the Echo Base stuff from Episode uh, 5 right here. We do have the two protocol droids that are pretty cool. Uh, Echo Bases and everything. Uh, the Rebels of Hoth, so showing the Snow Speeders, a couple other little mini builds. Some uh, troops around here, the Battle Pack from 2010. And then again, all these little boxes, they have all the information. So if you guys want to pause, they have literally all the information. They have the set number, the source, the pieces, and the year. So very cool information. Uh, Jedi in Hiding over here, Boba Fett with the Slave One. Uh, Cloud City, I knew they'd probably have a page about this one. It's pretty much a showcase in the new uh, Cloud City. Uh, this is the Jabba the Hutt page, kind of uh, tattooing itself. Um, we do have the Jabba's Palace with the Rancor Pit. Uh, some of them down there, and then Jabba himself up there. Jabba's Sail Barge now, got Max Rebo, a couple of the skiffs, uh, the Sail Barges. Sar uh, Sarlacc Pit. Uh, Battle of Endor right here. This is pretty much just showing the Battle of Endor uh, set. Some B-Wings, A-Wings, pretty much the fleet that was shown in there. Showcasing the uh, Ewok Village set. Got a whole separate two pages for this. All the different Ewoks that have come out with down there. Here's a better look at them. Moving on to the Chapter 3, the Rise of the First Order. So it's pretty much going everything uh, from 7 and 8. Got Rey herself, kind of the set she comes in. Got the Finn and Friends. Some of the sets they come in, Finn and Rose primarily. Uh, Millennium Falcon from uh, Jakku, pretty much showing all the information about that set. The Resistance over here, and then also over here. Battle of Crate, Resistance Bomber, Troop Transport, Poe's Excellent. Then we got the Kylo Ren and Supreme Leader Snoke pages, pretty much the sets they come in. We have the First Order Forces right here, so we do have like the uh, ATM-6 or whatever that is, uh, Snowspeeder, 
uh, this set right here, which is pretty trash. Then the transporter and TIE fighter. Do have the first order of troops right here. I will actually give this a little flip around since some of these, is, it's been a while since you guys have probably seen them. Um, even down there, do have them at the top. So there's a quick look at them. Center this back up. Do have chapter four, the specialist sets. I uh, like a Legends, this is pretty much everything that's not, I kind of made a video over these, actually I'll probably have a card somewhere, I made a video over all these Legend sets about a week ago, the worst, the best on them. Lego Creations, this is pretty much everything that Lego Star Wars has made, I do have a video coming out on these as well, uh, pretty soon here, worst, the best. Uh, Planet sets, uh, they stopped producing these, but these pretty much came out 2012 through 2014, or actually 2013, um, and then the last wave was never released in the U.S., or in North America. Uh, micro Fighters. Love those. Two pages of them. You guys have probably already seen all those. Here's the mini sets, so pretty much poly bags. Uh, pretty much everything coming up from about 2011, 2009, 2003 even. So about everything they have here. Separatist Forces, Republic Forces, Bounty Hunter, Imperial Vehicles, First Order, Rebel. So they got everything on here, I think. They have Lego Technic, which they haven't done in a while. Um, let's see when the last one that came out was. I think it was 2003, right? Yep, 2003 it looks like. I, I want to get a couple of these. Honestly, the droid cut was going to get a Brick World. That one does look pretty cool. Do have buildable figures right here. Nice little two-page on this. Maybe even another page since they didn't show all of them. Nope. Uh, moving on to the UCS right here. Here's the Darth Maul bust. I uh, want to get that one. Uh, the Yoda bust, I want to get that one as well. Uh, the Imperial ATST, the original Death Star 2, TIE Advance, some UCS kind of bigger sets um, with the Imperial stuff. UCS Imperial uh, Shuttle, Super Star Destroyer, obi one Jedi Starfighter, and then Assault on Hoth, a couple of these other kind of UCS bigger sets, Slave 1, the Porg, and uh, BB-8. Then we do have these seasonal sets, which these are pretty much the Advent Calendars. They've been doing it since 2011. Do we, then we do have Chapter 5 right here, Beyond the Brick. Let's see what's in this chapter. Uh, pretty much some Meet the Team stuff. Uh, Star Wars design team standing from left to right. Uh, we got a whole bunch of them. I know that Jen's uh, Fred, uh, Frederick uh, Sin or whatever, however you say that last name. I don't want to really butcher it, but I know him and then the Caesar uh, person were both at uh, Star Wars Celebration. Um, and they're like the main leads, I think, for LEGO Star Wars. Uh, sketching and drafting over here. Uh, feedback from fans. Uh, true to the movies. Um, whether or not they do actually take feedback from fans, who knows. Um, 20 years of LEGO Star Wars, so congrats on that. Uh, celebrating the anniversary, they did the minifigures, and then the future, let's see what they say there. Uh, keep the fan requests at the front of their minds, I bet. Um, a lot of new sets, exciting sets coming out, that's what they're pretty much saying there. Uh, promotional pieces, uh, a lot of these are just, uh, promotional, uh, expensive minifigures up here. Chrome gold, solid gold, C-3PO. That's crazy. Um, stuff like this, little Comic-Con exclusives, uh, New York Toy Fair. Then we do have fan creations, kind of showcasing some of the big mocks that have been around in the community for a while. And then the set index. So that is pretty much the entire thing. Let's see, there's a 158 pages worth of stuff. Then we do have the back right here, which just has some stuff on the back. So again, this was, I think this is for $13 on Target.com. If you, got, if you guys do want to get it, I definitely recommend it. I do already have the original one, so if you guys do want to get the newer one, I definitely recommend it. Um, and a lot of nice stuff to read up about it. I'll probably actually spend you know, maybe 30 minutes in looking through all this um, because I don't really know every last thing about LEGO Star Wars, so this will kind of, you know, giving me, or, you know, kind of reassure me and kind of make me, you know, kind of remember all that stuff. So, you know, thank you guys all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. See you guys later. Bye.